So one thing that I haven't really been very good at so far in my running training in the last year is doing what's so-called slow runs or easy runs. Kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but the idea being keeping as best as possible the nasal breathing going. You're supposed to be able to have a conversation while running and more so for me I kind of strive to keep my heart rate under 150, 145, 150, which is supposed to be in that like 70% range or in sort of that zone two. And so apparently that's kind of where you need to be to build up your aerobic capacity, your endurance. And so doing more longer track runs or other runs with that in mind has been something that I've tried to incorporate more recently as I continue on this journey to try to run the six minute mile. I find it pretty hard to stick to running at that pace where I'm not overexerting myself with my heart rate getting above the 150 range. It's just in my nature to push harder, try to get the run done with and not go as slow. So it's challenging to do that, but I've been trying more diligently to incorporate that at least a couple times per week with runs because supposedly that's one of the things that will help you get better at running the one mile if you incorporate that along with like speed work and everything. And as of right now, I've still got the goal to try to get this run done by mid July. So just a few weeks from now. And I tested out, didn't go at an all out effort. And I was also sort of fatigued from lower body strength training day earlier in the week. But this week I tested it out and I did a seven minute mile pace. So that's quite a ways off. I have done a 640 earlier on when I kind of did the first testing to figure out if I thought I could strive for the six minute mile. Uh, so obviously that's still 10 seconds per lap that I need to improve upon. Or if we're looking at this week when I did the seven minute mile, still got 15 seconds to shave off each lap, which is a lot. And so we'll see how things go. I think that game day strategy is going to be important for me on how to fuel or not fuel before it or what time of day I try to complete this and things like that. And so as we kind of dial in, I figure that out, I'll try to share some of those tips as well either on the main channel, kind of talking about performance with Find Your Flow, or also incorporating it in here. But I think another thing that will be coming up as a, a topic soon on the main channel is active recovery and the importance of active recovery rather than just passive recovery. And so that's going to also be something that I will look at. It's one of the reasons that I run mostly on the track because running on concrete beats my legs up, beats my knees up a little bit too much. My feet hurt from it. So I like softer surfaces for running and also, you know, making sure that my body's not falling apart when doing this is the importance of active recovery practices so that you can get back to baseline and beyond even quicker.